Hey everybody, this is your Wednesday tech tip with Jake. I'm hanging out in my car on the dyno. So a little bit of information about injector pulse width. Um, the larger the injector you go with, then the smaller the pulse width, the, the smaller that the injector actually has to open to provide the fuel to the car. So um, if you have a car that has big injectors, that can't support a small pulse width down low, it's gonna have problems. So let me show you what I mean in Tuner Studio and what kind of data it's, it's actually telling us here. Okay, so here we are idling about 800 RPM, 14 or so to one uh, free ratio. And then here is our pulse width in Rust EFI. It's 1.7 milliseconds. That's how long the injectors are open. These are 42 pound injectors and um, much below this, what can happen is you can actually get to a point where the injector isn't opening and it will misfire, if you will. So when you're tuning, make sure you take a look at what that, that pulse width is and how many pulses it's, it's hitting at, okay? Because what can happen is that you can actually be, the pulse width can be so low is that the injector actually isn't opening at all or it's opening sporadically and, and not giving the engine what it what it needs. So if the thing is you're running big injectors and you are not getting a smooth idle, look at that pulse width and see if it's really low. That's your tech tip for today, everybody.